Okay, this is Edward again. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the care of the Diamondback Terrapins. Argento and Cicero hanging out, just relaxing. But you have to do research. I did over 100 hours of research and five months putting the tank together for the turtles. Filters for clean water. There's two Penguin 200 bio wheel filters that I have running, so I'm at least getting 400 gallons of filtration every hour with both of them combined. You can never over filter. It's safer to do that. That way you can. You do end up burning through filters, but your water is always going to be crystal clear and that's preventing of your main concerns, which are going to be shell rot, their eyes could have discharge, um, a lot of things that you have to pay very close attention, so I do suggest that you spend the time and read um, the care that other people have had up, that way you can do research because you will find a lot of conflicting information. Listen to the specialists and people that have been doing it for years. Now, I'm just going to go over it really quickly. The basic lighting setups for heat for basking area you have to run for every 24 hours. The Exoterra Sun Glow gives off enough heat that way the hatchlings can have a 90 degree temp for basking area. Some people believe 85, but I haven't had them complain about the basking area. And they're in it every single day and especially at night when they're sleeping. Now that's where they're going to get their UVA rays as well as um, the UVB which is the Exoterra Reptiglow. And this one is another nice bulb that I have right there. That way it gives them their daily light. That way they can, their metabolism will be able to break things down and they'll be able to get their vitamin D3 which is extremely important especially when it comes to shell rock. Calcium and D3 are going to prevent that. Now, this species of turtle also lives in brackish water. There's a debate between which is better. Now, the ones that are bred in captivity tend to be fresh water, and the wild ones are the ones in brackish. Everybody has a different one. Now, this is salt that you can add into the aquarium. That way, it gives it more of a saline condition. Check to make sure that your fish can handle it. And I have Dalmatian mollies and uh, Dalmatian, or the molly cream both of them are salt and marine or I'm sorry marine and fresh water so it's not gonna affect them or the other fish I have in the tank or my eel wherever he is he's hiding now food they're extremely finicky and picky you need to have some type of vegetable substitute I have turtle bites which is awesome I found this one on clearance definitely recommend this one as well as just top fin, you know you're always getting good quality. It's just guaranteed. And just regular traditional shrimp pellets. Now, I also have two supplements, which is the Reptomin Plus as well as the Nutrifin Max. Both of them have the key right there, which is the multivitamins in there. The calcium and the D3 for the hard shell, which is extremely important when you're dealing with hatchlings. And the Reptomin food sticks and as well as dried just red shrimp that you do have to dice up these food I don't know why they made the sticks so big it's ridiculous but you do have to dice them up that way the turtles can actually take a bite without choking or um, and yeah it's just not good another way to prevent that is by pre soaking the food some people feed them outside of the tank. I prefer to feed them in the tank because they're more comfortable and it doesn't stress them out. Now I do take them out in the sun when it's sunny, but I live in Washington, so that's not that often. Um, but I do take them out and hold them a little bit, but not that much. And as you can see, my water is crystal clear, but that took a great deal of time in order to achieve that. It wasn't overnight. Your traditional uh, conditioner for your water that way you can keep the water safe pre-mix it let it soak for 15 minutes before you add it to your tank please otherwise you stress out your uh, your animals by just dumping in the water and then the solution it doesn't happen that fast and to truly break the chlorine bond that's on there I like a a lot a stronger conditioner than the other ones and the APF pharmaceuticals is guaranteed good quality 
Now anytime, these, they say that they're safe for pets, but honestly, if you really treasure your turtles, you're going to take them out of the tank before you add any chemicals, just to be safe. This one I use for pH levels as well um, as the filters. I add in other uh, charcoal as well as ammonia and nitrate killers. That way the fish and the turtles are okay. I mean the fish are food, let's be honest, and the turtles have the run of the tank. Now those are the basic care things that I learned over it. And always make sure you kind of have backup on everything. That way if you run out of something you don't freak out and you already have it. Now, remember that your filters, the charcoal is going to last for over two weeks. Your filters are going to get gunked up as well as the intake tube. So you do have to take them apart and wash them every week because that way the water can fly through it and the filter stays clean. I recommend using a sponge. That way you can scrape it off. It makes it a lot easier. The usual traditional style sponge like that, it's just better to scrub off all of the gunk that is on the filter that's blocking it because obviously you're going to have it shoot out your in the other side which is your overflow which as you can see mine is I scraped it this morning but I also fed them in the tank you do have to pay attention to those things and just maintain it and there's the eel in the background Dietrich he's swimming around somewhere there he is he's in the background there He's a peacock eel. Not necessarily an eel, they call it more of a bonefish, but they're really beautiful animals. And all the fish are wondering what's going on. And the turtles are just hanging out. He's just chilling. He likes his tank. And so does she. She's hanging out there. And the water temp should be about 78 to 80 for hatchlings. That way it keeps them safe. My lip sucker plecos freaking out. My turtles love messing with them. And then my LED strip light because I have to have something to look at at night and it doesn't affect the turtles. But only have it on for a couple hours. Don't have it on all night. They do need at least 10 to 12 hours of just pitch black and definitely get a timer it makes it a lot easier you can find them at most stores but that's the basic care for the diamondback terrapin hatchlings and just take your time and make sure you have a large enough tank i've seen a lot of videos on youtube where they have a giant turtle in a little tank and it just you can't do that it'd be like locking a person in jail same type of feeling and you wouldn't do that to something that you care about so definitely take your time, do your research. That way you can have the optimum living environment and ecosystem for your turtles. If there's anything else that you guys need, just go ahead and go ahead and send me a comment and ask and I will let you know. That way I can research it and find out for myself as well. All right, you guys, enjoy your turtles and most of all, take really good care of them. Have a good day. Bye.